Hi guys. So we're coming to the end of our series on the armor of God. And today's lesson is called Declare It Boldly. Now declare just means to say or to share. And if you do something boldly, when I think of someone who is bold, I think of someone who's brave and strong and not afraid. So today we're going to see what is it that we need to declare or say without fear, boldly. All right, so today I would like to start us with a word of prayer and then we're going to go into God's word. So if you would bow your heads with me. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the love that you have given us. And Lord, we thank you for this armor that you have given us. Lord, this armor that helps us to fight against our enemy. Lord, I pray that each and every day we would remember to place each and every piece of this armor on so that we are ready each day, Lord, to be bold for you. Father, we love you. We thank you. And it's in Jesus' name that all the kindergartners said, Amen. So, I said that today's lesson was called Declare It Boldly. And that just means, like we said, to share something without fear. Now, as we've gone through this series of the armor of God, we've learned that we have an enemy. And we're in battle against our enemy. Our enemy wants to do whatever he can to tear us away from Jesus and to get us to do things like sin. But God has given us something to help us, to protect us. He's given us something to fight with, the armor of God. And as we've talked about each of these pieces of armor and what they do, we see that God has prepared us for this battle. We don't need to be afraid. We also know who's in charge, who's the leader. We're part of God's army and that should give us peace. We know that Jesus is our commander, he's in charge and we are following him. So today we're gonna learn what it means to declare our faith in Jesus boldly. So I'm gonna start back in the book of Ephesians as we review the pieces for the armor of God. Chapter six, verse 13. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and the shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all of the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god so god has given us this armor and we don't have to be afraid you see he's given us the helper he's given us his holy spirit the holy spirit helps us to understand god's word the bible and the Holy Spirit helps us to share what the Bible says with others. Does it sound a little scary to go tell someone about Jesus? I'll be honest, even as a grown up, sometimes it's scary to go and talk to people. But we don't need to be afraid to tell anyone about Jesus. You maybe don't know what to say, well, here's the good news. God has promised that the Holy Spirit will give us the words that we need to share whenever we share about Jesus. 
You see, we don't have to be afraid because Jesus is with us whenever we speak. In Luke 12, verse 8, Jesus says, I tell you the truth, everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, the Son of Man will also acknowledge in the presence of God's angels. You see, when we're willing to share and to tell others about Jesus here on earth, you know what Jesus is doing about us up in heaven? He's sharing with the angels about us. You see, God's given us a job, and our job is to share the good news of Jesus. And that's nothing to be scared of. What Jesus is telling us is that no matter where we are or who we are talking to, he will be there to help us. We want to tell others the good news of Jesus so that they can learn how they can win the war against sin, just like we have learned to win against sin, because we have Jesus. So be bold, put on the armor of God, and go and share the good news. So that's today's Bible lesson. Now we do have a little activity that you're going to be doing, so I'm going to give you some directions for that part next. Thanks, guys. So we're going to be cutting out each of these pieces in the armor of God. Now, I know there's some tiny little pieces in here, so just do the best that you can in cutting them out and make sure you're putting them in a safe place after you cut them out so you don't lose them because you're going to need them for the next part of our activity. So grab your scissors, go ahead and cut out your pieces, and then start the video back up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine out right now. Whew. I don't know about you, but my hand sure is tired from doing all of that cutting, but I know it's really good practice. So. Now that all of your pieces have been cut out, I'm going to talk about the things that we're going to need for the next part of our project. So you're going to need a piece of paper. Really any normal size paper will do. I found this extra paper in our classroom, so I'm going to be using this. You're also going to need some crayons or markers or pencils. You're going to need a glue stick. And then if you have a dice, maybe from a board game that you have at home, or maybe you have these fun foam dice like I do, you're gonna need one of these. Okay, so now that I've cut out all of my pieces for the armor of God, I've laid them out on the table and I've given each piece in the armor of God a number. So I'm gonna show you what I mean because you're gonna need to do something similar. It doesn't have to look just like mine. Okay, so I've laid out my pieces. I've given each piece in the armor a number, and I've just kind of laid them out on my table. So hopefully that makes sense. Yours, and I'm gonna see what number it lands on. So my first one happened to be the number one. So I'm gonna take my first piece, and my number one is this. Do you remember what this was? Good, the helmet of salvation. So this is the piece I get to glue first on my other paper. So I'm gonna take my helmet of salvation and I'm gonna glue it on my paper, good. Now I'm gonna roll again and see, oh, this time, this time I got a, good, a six. So my six is, my good, the sword of the spirit, God's word. So I'm gonna take my sword of the spirit and I'm gonna put some glue on the back and I'm gonna kinda of glue it over to the side because he's gonna be holding it. All right, so now you're gonna try and see if you can roll all of the pieces of the armor to build your own armor of God.
Okay, so here's my finished product. I rolled all of my numbers. I glued all of my pieces for the armor of God. I colored and I added the details like the arms, the legs, and I even decided to write the words armor of God. So maybe I'll put this up as my reminder that each and every day I want to put on the full armor of God. All right, I hope you guys have fun with our activity today and we'll see you later. Bye guys.